The ground beneath Sicily isn't quiet. It's warning us. Right now, as you watch this, Mount Etna's entire southeastern flank is sliding into the Mediterranean Sea. Not in decades, not in years. Today, every hour, Europe's most dangerous volcano shifts another millimeter closer to what scientists call the unthinkable, a collapse so massive it could send tsunami waves across three continents. The mountain that has erupted for thousands of years is now doing something far more terrifying. It is falling apart. In August 2025, something changed on Mount Etna. New fissures tore open across the southeastern flank, sending lava flows cascading two kilometers down slopes that were already moving. Strombolian explosions lit the Sicilian night sky while pyroclastic flows raced down volcanic channels carved by centuries of eruption. But this was not just another eruption, it was loading. Every ton of fresh lava was adding weight to a mountainside that Italian scientists had been watching slide eastward for decades. The data does not lie. GPS stations scattered across Etna's flanks record the same relentless truth. The southeastern slope moves seaward at three to five centimeters every year. That is not erosion, that is not settling, that is gravitational collapse in slow motion pulling an area the size of Manhattan toward the Ionian Sea. Dr. Giuseppe Puglisi from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has spent his career tracking this movement. His team's weekly bulletins, updated as recently as November 4, 2025, show something unprecedented, a mountain that erupts while simultaneously falling apart. The volcanic activity masks something far more dangerous underneath. Seismic networks detect continuous micro-earthquakes as internal structures adjust to the shifting foundation. Thermal cameras capture heat signatures that reveal the mountain's internal stress. The measurements are precise, methodical, terrifying. Each GPS coordinate shift represents millions of tons of rock in motion. Each seismic reading captures the mountain's struggle against gravity. Each thermal anomaly suggests the deep processes that are slowly dismantling one of Europe's most iconic landmarks. The 2025 eruptions added silt, a new variable to this equation. Multiple fissure openings distributed fresh volcanic material across already unstable slopes. Loading events that once occurred over decades now happen in weeks. The mountain is literally piling weight onto its own foundation while that foundation slides toward the sea. But that is only part of the story, because what is happening on land is nothing compared to what has been discovered beneath the waves. In 2016, scientists did something never attempted before. They placed acoustic transponders on the seafloor off Etna's coast. These sophisticated instruments, typically used to study deep ocean fault systems, were deployed in water over 1,000 meters deep. What they recorded changed everything we thought we knew about volcanic collapse. In May 2017, the instruments detected the unthinkable. The underwater portion of Etna's flank moved over four centimeters in just eight days. Not during an eruption. Not during an earthquake. The mountain's foundation was simply sliding away beneath the Mediterranean, pulled by gravity into the abyss. The movement was a seismic happening without the violent shaking that typically accompanies major geological events. This is not just rock falling down a hill. Etna sits on a complex geological foundation where the African plate dives beneath the Eurasian plate. This tectonic collision creates layers of clay-rich sediments that act like a massive underground lubricant, allowing millions of tons of volcanic rock to glide across weak geological planes. The mountain is literally undermining itself one centimeter at a time. The physics are inexorable. Gravity acts on Etna's steep underwater slopes mark where the volcano's base extends far beneath the Mediterranean. The mountain rises 3,350 meters above sea level, but its foundation plunges another 1,000 meters below the waves. This underwater portion, invisible from land, carries the greatest risk because it lacks the structural support of solid ground. Satellite interferometry reveals the terrifying scope. The entire southeastern flank, both above and below sea level, moves as one coherent block. Picture a piece of the mountain larger than downtown Manhattan, sliding toward the abyss in geologically slow motion. The process has been underway for millennia, 
but recent eruptions are accelerating the loading while tectonic forces continue their relentless pull. Advanced modeling shows how magma intrusions temporarily accelerate flank movement during eruptions, then settle into longer periods of steady creep. But this pattern contains a hidden danger. Each cycle brings the mountain closer to a critical threshold where steady sliding could transition to catastrophic collapse. The submarine slopes off Etna's coast are among the steepest on Earth. Underwater canyons carved by ancient landslides scar the seafloor, testament to previous collapses that reshape the Mediterranean basin. Sediment cores reveal the geological fingerprints of these events. Massive debris flows mixed with volcanic ash, frozen in time on the ocean floor. Yet what comes next could be even worse. This slow slide might not stay slow forever. 8,000 years ago, Etna did something that still haunts the Mediterranean seafloor. Marine sediment cores pulled from the Ionian Sea reveal the massive debris layers mixed with volcanic ash are the geological signature of catastrophic collapse. These cores, extracted by research vessels using precision drilling equipment, tell a story written in mud and rock. The ancient event left its mark across the entire Mediterranean basin. Elevated marine terraces along distant coastlines bear witness to waves far larger than any recorded storm. Coral formations on Greek islands show damage patterns consistent with massive tsunamis. Archaeological sites around the Mediterranean reveal sudden abandonment layers that align with the geological timeline of Etna's ancient collapse. Computer reconstructions of this prehistoric disaster estimate that the collapsing volume exceeded 10 cubic kilometers enough material to bury entire cities. The resulting tsunami radiated outward at speeds approaching 800 kilometers per hour, reaching North African coasts within three hours and maintaining destructive power across thousands of kilometers. But we do not have to look that far back for warnings. In 1888, Ritter Island Volcano in Papua New Guinea suffered a flank collapse that generated a tsunami up to 60 feet high killing hundreds along distant coastlines. The collapse happened without warning, transitioning from slow sliding to catastrophic failure in minutes. Eyewitness accounts describe the sea retreating, then returning as a wall of water that swept away entire villages. More recently, in 2018, Kilauea's southeastern flank collapsed into the Pacific during the Lower Puna eruption. The event created new underwater canyons and reshaped Hawaii's Big Island forever. Seismic monitoring detected the progressive failure as rock weakened by magma intrusion finally. The parallels to Etna are unmistakable. Submarine monitoring off Hawaii revealed similar aseismic sliding before the 2018 collapse. The geological structure, a volcanic edifice built on weak sedimentary layers, mirrors Etna's foundation. Even the rate of pre-collapse movement matches current measurements from Sicily. Each collapse follows predictable physics but unpredictable timing. Millions of cubic meters of rock and debris avalanche into the sea in minutes, displacing water volumes that dwarf any nuclear explosion. The energy release approaches that of major earthquakes, but it is focused entirely on moving water rather than shaking land. The residents of Catania, Sicily's second largest city with 300,000 people, live directly on Etna's unstable flank. They have adapted to ash that closes airports and lava that threatens neighborhoods. They have not prepared for the mountain itself to fall into the sea. Emergency planning focuses on eruption scenarios, evacuation routes for lava flows, shelter procedures for ashfall. No sirens warn of tsunamis generated by volcanic collapse. And now, scientists fear history may be repeating itself. The volcanic season of 2025 has been unlike recent years. Multiple eruptions, fissure openings, and pyroclastic flows have dumped fresh weight onto slopes already primed for failure. In February, thermal anomalies suggested deep flank involvement as magma found new pathways through weakened rock. By August, new effusive vents were loading the southern slope with millions of tons of fresh lava, while strombolian explosions hurled additional material across already unstable terrain. Current monitoring reveals a mountain under unprecedented stress, seismic stations. Continuous tremors record how rock adjusts to a shifting foundation. Earthquake patterns have changed. Fewer large events, but more frequent small ones, suggesting stress is being released through continuous adjustment 
rather than sudden breaks. GPS arrays track accelerating movement in some sectors while others remain stable, creating a patchwork of stability and motion across the flank. Infrared satellites capture heat signatures that suggest the internal structure is changing. Underground void spaces formed as rock masses separate and slide show up as thermal anomalies that persist long after surface eruptions end. These subsurface changes indicate that the mountain's internal architecture is fundamentally altering as gravity overcomes geological resistance. No evacuation. The Italian government has issued no evacuation orders and no tsunami warnings. Official statements emphasize gradual processes, long-term monitoring, and ongoing research. Weekly bulletins from INGV focus on volcanic hazards, ash dispersal, lava flow modeling, and gas emission trends. But behind closed doors, emergency planners are modeling scenarios they hope never to implement. International collaboration has intensified monitoring efforts. Japanese experts, veterans in studying submarine landslides around volcanic islands, have shared acoustic transponder technology. Hawaiian researchers contribute insights from Kilauea's recent collapse. British marine geologists provide seafloor mapping expertise. The Mediterranean has become a laboratory for understanding volcanic flank failure. A major collapse could displace between 1 and 10 cubic kilometers of material into the Mediterranean. Computer models predict initial wave heights of 10 to 50 meters near Sicily, and destructive tsunamis could reach Greece, Malta, and the North African coast within hours. The wave energy would refract around Sicily's southern tip, focusing destructive power on the narrow Strait of Messina while spreading across the eastern Mediterranean basin. Coastal cities from Naples to Alexandria would have minutes of warning, depending on their distance from ground zero. Existing tsunami warning systems designed for seismic events might not detect the unique signature of volcanic collapse until waves were already propagating. The Mediterranean's enclosed geography means reflected waves could maintain destructive power for hours, creating multiple tsunami arrivals at each coastal location. The mathematics are sobering. Even a partial collapse could generate more destructive energy than the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami that killed over 230,000 people. The Mediterranean's higher population density along coastlines multiplies the potential for catastrophe. This matters because what happens next could rewrite maps across the entire Mediterranean basin. The question isn't whether Etna's flank will eventually collapse. Geological evidence proves it has happened before. The question is when, and that answer remains terrifyingly unclear. Dr. Marilia Urlaub, who led the groundbreaking seafloor monitoring program, describes the situation as a loaded spring. Decades of slow movement have built enormous stress into the mountain's foundation. The acoustic transponder data reveals a system balanced on the edge of stability, where small changes in loading or lubrication could trigger massive failure. But predicting the trigger, whether it is a magnitude 6 earthquake, a massive eruption, or simply the accumulated weight of time, remains beyond current science. Recent studies suggest the possibility of acceleration, aligning geodetic data with historical patterns that preceded ancient collapses. Researchers analyzing the 8,000-year sediment record have identified precursor signals, subtle changes in sliding rates and earthquake patterns that preceded the catastrophic event. These same signals appear to be emerging in current data, though their significance remains debated within the scientific community. But other experts point to the mountain's remarkable stability, despite centuries of eruption and earthquake activity. Etna has survived major regional earthquakes, including the devastating 1693 event that destroyed much of southeastern Sicily. It has endured massive eruptions that added enormous weight to its flanks. Each time, the mountain has adjusted, flexed, and continued its slow slide without catastrophic failure. The debate continues while the mountain keeps sliding. Advanced monitoring networks now track every measurable parameter. Ground deformation, gas emissions, thermal changes, seismic activity, electromagnetic variations. Artificial intelligence algorithms analyze patterns in real time, searching for the subtle signatures that might herald accelerating instability defiant. What's certain is that Etna defies easy prediction. The same volcanic forces that built the mountain are now tearing it apart. Each eruption adds weight while internal pressures seek release through the path of least resistance. 
gravity's pull toward the sea. The mountain exists in dynamic equilibrium, balanced between construction and destruction, creation and collapse. International monitoring networks continue expanding. Underwater sensors multiply across the Ionian seafloor, creating an early warning web that spans hundreds of square kilometers. Satellite coverage intensifies with new radar interferometry missions that can detect millimeter-scale ground movement. Ocean bottom seismometers listen for the subtle acoustic signatures of submarine landslides. Yet the mountain keeps its secrets, sliding toward an unknown threshold that may not reveal itself until seconds before it is crossed. The physics are well understood. The timing remains a mystery. Emergency planners prepare for scenarios ranging from decades of continued slow sliding to sudden catastrophic failure within years. The Mediterranean sleeps fitfully, watched over by instruments that record every tremor, every shift, every sign that Europe's most dangerous volcano is preparing for its most dangerous act. The slow motion disaster continues, measured in centimeters per year but capable of unleashing devastation in minutes.